So let's talk about an example. Margaret goes to the store using the following path. Five miles west, two miles north, three miles east. What is her total displacement? Give the magnitude and direction. So if you were to draw this picture, it would look something like this. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Now note that we are going to take the north to be the positive y direction and the east to be the positive x direction. So first he says he goes five miles west, two miles north, and three miles east. What is delta r? Part B, it says, if the first leg of the walk takes 10 minutes and the second leg takes 8 minutes and the third leg takes 7 minutes, compute her average velocity and average speed during each leg and for the overall trip. So here, Margaret, she's in her car and she's traveling forward. She first goes 5 miles west, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 miles um, west. And then she goes two miles north, so about two miles north. And then she comes back and she goes three miles east, okay? So the total distance that she has traveled is five plus two plus three equals 10 miles, right? We all agree with that. But the question is asking us, what is her total displacement? Remember, displacement is the shortest distance between the two points. So her displacement is only from here to here. Let's call this delta r. So we have to find this displacement. Displacement. That will be delta r, right? Okay, now how do we do that? Note what's happening here. If I was to figure out what this point was on the vector, it will actually be minus five, zero. So this vector is minus 5, 0. This vector is, this point is minus 5, 2. 2 miles north, minus 5. Provided I start off by saying that my origin, it has this point. This is my plus x, and this is my plus y. So this point is now going to be minus 2 and 2, crossing the x-axis and the y-axis. So if I was to find my delta r, it will actually be my r final minus r initial, right? r final is this vector here, minus 2i plus 2j, and my initial was 0i plus 0j. So in order to find delta r, I could in fact do minus 2i plus 2j. That will give me a vector starting from 0 coming to this point. So now we have to find the magnitude of this delta r. The magnitude of this delta r will be given by minus 2 squared plus 2 squared square root. That means it is going to be 4 plus 4 squared, which means it is going to be square root of 8. Okay? Now what about its direction? The direction is given by tangent of theta, which is ry over rx. That means it is going to be 2 divided by minus 2, which means it's minus 1. Tangent theta is 1, implies theta is tangent inverse of minus 1, of minus 1, which comes out to be equals to, quick calculator, calculations come up with an answer, it's going to be, Thank you. 
minus 45 degrees. Now, the question is, what does the minus 45 degrees mean? Well, the minus 45 degree means that the angle is this one. Okay, so now we can't put a minus sign there. All we have to do is put an angle there. So that is going to be our angle. Okay? Now, part B of this question. It says if the first leg of her walk takes 10 minutes and the second leg takes 8 minutes and the third leg takes 7 minutes, compute her average velocity, average speed during each leg and for the overall trip. So now we need to figure out where her average velocity and average speed is going to be. So let's start part B over here. So I'm just going to write part B over here. So it says first leg takes 10 minutes, right? Second leg takes 8 minutes. Third leg takes 7 minutes. Okay, so the distance that she travels between all of that is 5 miles, 2 miles, and 3 miles. Note I'm not putting a direction associated with that yet. Okay, so the speed is going to be distance over time. So five minutes divided by five miles divided by ten minutes gives me gives me zero point five miles per minute. Two miles in eight minutes gives me zero point two five miles per minute, and three minutes divided by seven minutes gives me zero point four three miles per minute. Okay, so now what about velocity? Okay, well, velocity values will be exactly at the same as the speed values, except now it's going to have a direction associated with it. So the velocity is going to be 0 0.5 miles per minute directed west. This is going to be 0 0.25 miles per minute directed north. And This is going to be 0 0.43 miles per minute directed east. So the difference between the velocity and the distance is the fact that this now has direction associated with it. Okay, now the question is what is her average speed during all of these? Well, for her average speed, we need to add all of her speeds together and come up with 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.43 and the answer comes out to be 1.18 miles per minute. Okay? Now what about her average velocity? Now the average velocity is going to be different. Average velocity is actually equals to delta r divided by delta t. The time it takes her to travel this displacement that we figured out over here. So what was her displacement? Her displacement was square root of 8, which I believe comes out to be about 2.8 meet miles. But square root of 8 divided by the total time that it took, 10, 8, 7, okay? So we add up all of those times, 10 minutes plus 8 minutes plus 7 minutes, and that will give us miles per minute, okay? So her average velocity, if I add up all of those numbers, comes out to be 0 0.112 miles per minute. Note the difference between her average speed and her average acceleration. They are not the same thing. And the reason why they're not the same thing is because one of them depends on displacement and the other one depends actually on the distance that she covered. Now, what if I ask you one more question just to add on, on, on top of it? What if after she comes here, she comes back to her original spot? 
right? So let's suppose that she does all of this distance and she comes back to her original spot, okay, from where she started. So she's back here. In this case, her average velocity will be zero, but her average speed will actually incorporate all the numbers that's going, that are going to go into your expression, okay?